Is he nice? Oh, well, he hopefully. Live animal contents, common names, velvet spider. Hmm, we're gonna get to that box soon, but first, I've accumulated a little bit of mail from my P.O. box that I wanted to open. So yeah, let's just get right into it. The first package we are going to open is from JC. So let's go. cute very pretty packaging oh my gosh they're stickers oh they are so cute that's like a mint jumping spider a little strawberry one and a little pumpkin pie one these are absolutely adorable i believe it's from this website look at that thank you so much this next package comes from amazon I, it doesn't have a name so i have no idea oh there is a little gift thing you're the reason i got into keeping tarantulas i got one for my car and thought it was the cutest enjoy is this for the uh, vents? For your car? Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah. Like an air freshener thing. You put little Oh, uh, I see. Jasmine. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. That's cool. It has little diamonds on it too. Thank you so much, Brooke. This next one comes from a friend of mine I met on Instagram. Her handle is Espresso Geckos. She actually makes a lot of really cool jumping spider playgrounds and I really like her content. I recently sent her like a little bit of like, like a keychain and some merch and stuff and so I guess she sent me something back and we can open it together. Oh, what is this? Oh, cool. It's some little crystals. It looks like amethyst and possibly black tourmaline and quartz. <gasps> More crystals. Oh my gosh, so many tumbles. And look at this big, oh wow, what is this one? I'm not sure. Help me out in the comments what this is, but I love it. Oh, carefully put it back. <sighs> So this is what I was really most excited about. It is Espresso Gecko's Blend Coffee. So they make this coffee, and I am a big coffee person. I always have coffee with me, like it is like my main drink of choice. I love iced coffee especially, but Mr. Tarantula Cat and I love to also just make coffee at home or other drinks. We also make a lot of like oat milk, chocolate milk, like anyway. This is awesome, we will for sure try this out. Oh. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh, here's the card. Espresso Gecko. Tootie's gonna try to get into this coffee. You can't have that. She just burped in my face. I don't think you could hear that, but she did. Oh, this is so cute. It's a little hide for jumping spiders. It's a walnut with like a little piece of um, hemp around it, moss, and a magnet. Last thing, of course, stickers. Lots of them. Ooh, this one is really cool. And some crested geckos. Oh, that one's so adorable. I really appreciate it, Emily, and I will let you know how I like this coffee. So this package actually comes from the same person who sent me this velvet spider I'm about to unbox. So let's open this up first, and then we will open the velvet spider. Oh wow. So this comes from Velvety Green also. Somebody I met on Instagram, really love their content. Lots of velvet spider stuff, lots of jumping spider stuff. She's really become a good friend of mine. Hi friend, I hope you love the flame as much as I love them. I think she sent me soap she made before. I'm pretty sure. I know she sent me crystals before and hides. Look at that. Oh, whoa. That, geez. That is so generous of you. Look at how big this piece is and the little flecks that shimmer. Oh my God, I love this. I wish my nails were done better for this. Oh, a little skull. Very cute. I don't know what, what is this one? It's really cool. I have a moonstone one, kind of similar to this. Thank you so much. So yeah, I guess now it's time to talk about this little package also from Velvety Green. As you can see on the slip, it says live animal contents, common name velvet spider, Gandana Mano species, which is the exact same species of velvet spider that Miss Wednesday here is. I'm not sure if Wednesday's gonna really make an appearance in this video, but this is for her. This is, this is really exciting, so. Let me open it up and we'll talk more about it. 
All right, moment of truth. More worms. Oh, here he is. Oh my God, he's so little. <laughs> She warned me that he was gonna be little. The mature males are significantly smaller than the females, but yeah, there he is. It looks like he came out of his little little moss spot to uh, hang out on the bottom. He made it here safely. Let's uh, let's let him out. So you might be wondering where his enclosure is. This is his enclosure. And you guys are probably like, that's Wednesday's enclosure. And you are right. So this is actually going to be a boyfriend for Miss Wednesday. And so he is actually going to go directly into this. That makes me kind of nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I don't want him to get eaten. But what I have recently learned is that this species of velvet spider is actually very compatible to live together and they're very communal. I'm not sure if like irises and stuff are the same, but these are also some Gandana minnow echinata babies I have, the same as Wednesday. You can see, right? Is that a molt or is that? Yeah. There's one. And then the other is right here. As long as they're the same size, I've been told that they are totally fine to live together. So once these grow a little bit more, they are siblings. I do actually plan on rehousing them into the same enclosure. Really good to know. So because they are communal and because this guy is specifically here to breed with Miss Wednesday, we're going to put him right in this enclosure with her and hopefully they'll hit it off. This probably means that I'm not going to catch them actually breeding, unfortunately, but that's okay. This is probably Probably like the best way to like make sure that they actually breed. Here we go. Ooh, trying to be very careful. So I'm not really sure like what the lifespan is on mature male velvet spiders. I'm guessing it's probably shorter than like, you know, females as per most of the spider world, but I don't know. Oh my gosh, he's so little. Hi, buddy. What do we think? Is he nice? Oh, well, he hopefully. Finally, he's holding still on my hand. So yeah, this is a mature male. He is significantly smaller than Wednesday, but you can tell how he does look different. He has a very similar abdomen, but look at how big his pedipalps are. That's probably because he has emboli. And then his coloring on his carapace is also pretty different too. So I actually did just feed Wednesday about two days ago. I don't feed her too terribly often, not as often as my jumping spiders, but it does look like she did take the prey, which is great. So I am going to pop her new friend in if he'll go in the right direction that'd be great oh 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 sorry buddy Albert are you okay are you ready to go meet your girlfriend so I'm gonna have to be really careful about this enclosure and making sure that the holes will be plugged up so nobody gets out if we do have babies Albert is down there and then here is where Wednesday resides. You're not gonna see her. She's like way deep down in there, but she does come up just enough at night usually for me to catch her out. So I do actually see her out pretty frequently, just at least the, her little feet up here. So I'm definitely gonna check on her tonight and you know, I'll see if she comes out at all. I'll see if he makes his way to her. That would be so cool if I was able to catch them doing something, but like I'm not gonna get my hopes up because obviously, yeah.
this is just awesome. So thank you so much, Stacy, AKA Velvety Green for the mature male. Everybody go check out her content. Oh yeah, and another thing before we end, I did wanna say, yes, some velvet spiders cannibalize the moms like the babies do. This species does not. So I checked into it from multiple sources, from multiple people who know lots of velvet spider stuff and that's Bowser. He's like hitting the pipe because I turned the filter off to film this. Um, sorry about that. But yeah, so this species does not eat mom, which is great. Otherwise I would not attempt breeding her because I just, I personally don't want to like sacrifice my velvet spider for babies, but like, yeah. <laughs> so nobody should be getting cannibalized. Knock on wood. I'll keep you guys updated if I see anything happening. I will for sure let you guys know. Of course, if any sort of egg sack or babies happens, you guys will be among some of the first to know as well. So anyway, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram video is probably way too much as at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It's all linked down below. I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks. <laughs>